we now turn our attention to multiplying complex numbers. Like I mentioned in the last video, you can treat i just like a variable. So it's going to have the same properties that you would have if it were x. So let's look at multiplying here. If I take 5 times 2i, well, there's not really a whole lot to do here. You're just multiplying. 5 times 2i is 10i. Just like if that i had been x, 5 times 2x is 10x. So 5 times 2i is 10i. Right? Not a whole lot going on there. If I do 7 times 3 minus 4i. Again, you're just multiplying here. So multiplying by distributing the 7. So 7 times 3 is 21. And 7 times negative 4 is negative 28. And of course, there's the i. Now, one of the things you need to understand about leaving your final answers for complex numbers, uh, they need to be in standard form, which means you've got your real part followed by your imaginary part. So real, then imaginary. So everything is good to go here. If I take negative 7i times 2i, all right, just going through normal rules for multiplication. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. And then you have i times i. So much like x times x would become x squared, i times i becomes i squared. But there's a little caveat here. We can't leave i squared as i squared. One of the things we talked about in the first part of this series is that i squared is equal to negative 1. So this guy right here is equal to negative 1. So we've got to make sure we rewrite this correctly. So that's still negative 14, but I rewrite this i squared as negative 1. Now keep in mind that this is negative 14 times i squared. So this is negative 14 times negative 1, which gives us positive 14. And that's what you're going to be seeing a lot in these problems, is that when you have i squared, it's just going to change the, it's going to change the sign of whatever it's connected to. Okay, uh, let's do another quick little guy. If I do 5i times 6i, well, 5 times 6 is just 30. The i times i is i squared, but as we saw in the previous example, this i squared becomes a factor of negative 1. All right, so this becomes negative 1. Make sure you understand this is not 30 minus 1. This is 30 times negative 1, so we end up with negative 30. Right. So anytime you've got that i squared, it's going to change the sign of what it's connected to. It changed the 30 to negative 30. It changed the negative 14 to positive 14. All right. So let's make things a little bit more interesting. 8i times 3 plus 7i. Looks like a normal distributing problem. You're going to take the 8i and distribute. So 8i times 3 is 24i. 8i times 7i is 56. Don't forget that you're multiplying i times i, so you get i squared. And like we were mentioning just a moment ago, this i squared is going to change the sign. Now, here's what I tend to do. I tend to circle that entire term and just kind of arrow off over here to say that this positive 56i squared becomes negative 56. Okay? And we also mentioned how we like to write our answers in, or we need to write our answers in standard form. Standard form says put your real part first, so it's negative 56, followed by the imaginary piece, which is 24i. So you distribute like normal. Anytime you see i squared, it's going to change the sign from whatever it is here to the opposite, so from positive to negative in this case. And that is all that we can do. All right.
let's add another layer. Let's do 2 plus 5i times 7 minus 3i. Well, for a problem like this, we just need to remember how we multiplied a long time ago. You basically have the product of two binomials, so you need to FOIL, right? Let's take the 2, and let's distribute the 2 so that it's the 7 and the minus 3i. So that gives me 14, 2 minus 3i gives me minus 6i. And then we're going to distribute with the 5i. Make sure you pay attention to your signs, pay attention to the i's. So this gives me positive 35i, and then minus, so that's 15, but then you have i times i, so that gives me i squared. And just like I did in the example above, I'm going to circle the piece that has i squared, and I'm going to say what it becomes. So minus 15i squared becomes positive 15. And there's no i, because the i squared is completely consumed to give you a negative 1 factor. And so now we combine like terms, real first. So 14 plus 15 is 29, minus 6i plus 35i gives me plus 29i. So you FOIL, you take care of any i squares that pop up, and then you combine like terms. All right, one final guy here. Let's do 5 plus 3i times 7 plus 6i. And again, I'm going to work this just like the last problem. FOIL. So take the 5 and distribute. So we get 35 plus 30i. Take the 3i and distribute here. All right, so that is plus 21i. 3i times 6i, that's going to give me 18. But i times i is i squared. And the plus 18i squared gives me minus 18. All right, so now we combine the real stuff first. 35 minus 18 is 17. 30i plus 21i combined to give me 51i. Now in the next video, we're going to see some interesting things happen with some of these products. So pay attention and uh, notice what happens.